What is up, YouTube Adventure family? We are here in the middle of Colorado, in the middle of the Rocky Mountains today, along one of my favorite stretches in the whole entire world. We are going creek fishing today. We've got the e-bike. We rode about four and a half miles, I think, to get here. And there's no one in sight. And we found a little honey hole, hopefully. So come along, let's see if we can catch some fish. Um, I am using a small rooster tail today. We are creek fishing. Uh, I'm using braided line, 10 pound, and we're going to right here, where did I tie the knot? Right here. We're going to uh, a four pound leader on the end. But th this is just an area that I come to to honestly just get the heck away from a lot of things. And uh, I've got numerous species of trout out of this water for sure it holds several species of trout and it is clean water it really is so going up through this that's battle mountain super historic just a lot of history there. there's a big uh, native american war basically over hunting grounds that went on over there and then beyond that, the 10th Mountain Division, where the 10th Mountain Division of the Army trained for River Ridge in France during World War II. On the other side of that, and then on the other side of that, is a little place that we call Vail Mountain that we all enjoy going skiing and snowboarding and whatnot on. We'll go upstream here in a second. See what that's all about. It is just absolutely gorgeous. All right. Just throw in the backpack. Go upstream a little. And see what we can get. There's a nickname for that area right there. I don't know the actual name, but we call it the butt crack of intern. And you can literally back country ski through there but the problem is you got there's a section you actually have to rappel down when you're skiing down something that's just as steep as steep gets and just all kinds of like obstacles and whatnots but I mean it's it's just really beautiful I've hiked a lot of this area up into those areas and all along that ridge line there that's called Cougar Ridge Hi, how are you? Come here. You get in the water. Yeah, you all have a great day. Yeah, bye puppies. Any luck? Not really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I did. I went all the way on the other side and everything. Nothing. Yeah. A couple followers, like where, where Cross Creek hits the eagle right there. I had big old rainbow freaking followed my rooster tail and just dove back down. He was huge. But that's the only thing I've seen besides a couple little ones. I haven't even spooked anything either. I've been walking all around. It's that time of year, man. The guy we were talking to earlier, as we were coming in, looks like he was fly fishing. He wasn't having any luck today either. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Hmm. All right, this is a great little spot. There may be somebody over here fishing. If there is, we will not disturb it. But, there isn't we'll hopefully try to catch something to cook this is our destination we're gonna ooh, look at the trees a lot of big trees fell we're gonna 
then start throwing and stretching out that line. And seeing what we could find here. A lot of animal tracks, signs of animalia. Some of my favorite spots right there. We got fish on. Fish on. What we got? Fish on. What we got? Oh man, look at that. What we got? Oh, a little brookie, boys and girls. We got a brookie. Oh, we got lunch. Oh, look at there. Oh, yeah. We got us a brookie. That's all we were looking for. All right, let's start a couple more casts. We got lunch. That is good. That is real good. back over there again because the, the thing is if I cast where I want to cast here in a second chance of losing my lure is high oh fish on fish on mm. what we got there what we got here some really good clean water up here if you are going to do a catch and cook, um, I do suggest that you know what body of water that you're getting your fish out of. All right. We'll attach it to this root right here. Okay, as you saw there, we caught two back to back really quick. So it seems like everything's producing since the sun went down. It is getting ready to rain. We got some big clouds coming in. And in the mountains, that's not a joke. Even though we're only four miles away, an e-bike ride in the rain is no fun. So let's get here and catch some more fish. If that wasn't the most casually perfect cast ever. Oh, fish on. Big one. That's a brookie. You can tell by the fish on. That's a big brookie. That is a chunker. That is a chunker. Look at that brookie. Look at that brookie, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at the colors on that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's call it a day. That rain's coming in. We got another big brookie. That's a male. You can see where the jawline's going back beyond the eye there. This is a male brookie, which is even cooler. This is just great. All right, let's get the reel set up. And let's get out of here before the rain hits. Uh. I hope you all enjoyed that today. We got our limit today. We got two brookies and a brown out of this creek. The water's great. So now I get home and cook some trout. Let's do it. <laughs>